sometimes like a scenario in my head, what was the artisan going through? What were they thinking? Why that particular face? 45 Monroe. So they had, all the faces were different. Would the architect indicate the face? Did the owner indicate that face? There's no clear. Architects who did some of these buildings, there's no mention of the details. They talk about the overall design, there's discussion on the client, but not the detail. The cover of my first book, I have Viola. And I guess it got to be a thing, because when I'm downtown, I like going over to see Viola. I mean, she's always, she's always there, straight-faced and all. The building, the corner, it's kind of a quasi-busy corner, and she's almost unnoticed. I think it was part of the building. It was expected. Like, where do you live? I live in the Viola. You have the name, so now the building has a little more character. You can almost feel the sense of your space and your building, because it's not like the building next door that may be called the Marianne. And now the modern buildings, my wife and I, we call them faceless, because there's no faces, very little detail, they're boxes. And I think buildings deserve character. And I think that if a building does have character, sometimes people take a little more pride in their building and the environment they're in. And it does an impact on the streetscape.